The Rafah crossing has opened uh, from Gaza for the first time since the October 7th uh, uh, incident, uh, the violence that took place then and then the war breaking out and this is to allow people uh, to cross over. Scores of foreign passport holders have uh, reportedly started leaving war-torn Gaza after Egypt opened the Rafah crossing. It was not immediately clear how many people managed to leave via Rafah on Gaza's southern border with Egypt, uh, but footage from the scene did show crowds of people entering entering uh, the Palestinian side of the terminal. Although more than 200 uh, trucks of desperately needed aid have crossed into Gaza from Egypt, no people have been allowed to flee the battered enclave so far, with some 400 foreigners and dual nationals expected to make the crossing. Let's go across to Kadambani for more. Kadambani, there are also reports that uh, wounded Palestinians will also be allowed to cross over. Give us the details. What are you hearing? But a big relief for those who've been waiting days for this opening uh, of the crossing. Uh, right, Gargi, it has been more than a week uh, since uh, these people have been camping uh, uh, around Rafah crossing, hoping to cross. And uh, if you remember, Israel had said that all those who wanted to be safe or uh, wanted to uh, cross, uh, the uh, negotiations are going on. And finally, we are seeing that uh, this crossing has uh, uh, actually started happening. Now, this is happening only for the dual passport holders or the foreign nationals, uh, around 500 of them who, are, who would be allowed to cross uh, into Egypt from uh, this crossing. Uh, we are also learning that some Egyptian ambulances have entered from uh, this crossing towards uh, uh, Gaza to pick up injured people. The reports are coming in that uh, Egypt has accepted to uh, take these injured people from Gaza for uh, their treatment. Uh, but uh, there is no word about uh, uh, whether other uh, people from Gaza would be uh, allowed to enter from Egyptian, Egyptian uh, to Egyptian side because uh, Egypt has been very uh, clear in its stand that it will not allow Palestinian refugees to uh, come into Egypt anymore. However, this is a relief for people who have been uh, allowed to uh, go to Egypt from Gaza side, mostly foreign nationals and the dual passport holders. Gargi? Right, and uh, Kadamni, we do know that you know since this war has begun, uh, early, uh, you know, a few, uh, earlier on, uh, the Israel army has also asked people to move from uh, North Gaza towards the south. So everybody has been moving southwards. Uh, at night, they have uh, the air, uh, you know, raids taking place and bombings taking place. Also, the ground operations have been expanding. So more and more people have been moving towards uh, the, the southern part of Gaza. Right. This has been continuing for some time and it has been said, uh, uh, actually, the Gaza residents have been warned. They have been told, uh, the, the pamphlets have been dropped uh, from air that they should be moving towards the South Gaza. But uh, if you look at the air rates, it's not only happening in northern uh, Gaza, but uh, uh, also uh, sometimes in southern Gaza. Javelia camp has been hit by uh, aerial uh, strikes by Israel and Israel has claimed that it has taken out uh, Hamas, uh, high-ranking Hamas uh, uh, terrorists and uh, other around 50 50 uh, more Hamas operatives. Meanwhile, Palestine has been accusing uh, that uh, civilians have been hit in this attack and uh, it has faced uh, lots of condemnation also. So this attack, though intensified in uh, uh, northern uh, uh, Gaza, but it is, uh, it is not as if uh, southern Gaza has been untouched, uh, Gargi. Right, absolutely, Kadamni. Another big demand has been to allow aid to go in because of the siege. We do know that Israel is not allowing, you know, any uh, resources, any, uh, you know, especially fuel to go into the Gaza Strip. And that is something very needed, especially for the hospitals, if they're to continue treating all the injured people. So hopefully now uh, with this crossing opening, uh, you know, while some aid has been going in now and then, uh, but hopefully more aid can be pushed in through this crossing. Well, this has been happening. The aid has been going in. But if you compare it to the earlier situation where uh, more than 300 uh, trucks entered Gaza every day from Israeli side, now we see the total number of trucks is around 200. So that is not actually uh, what uh, what all uh, uh, Gaza needs. So uh, the situation is quite bad. And Israel is quite clear about the fuel situation. It says that if uh, the fuel goes into Gaza, it will be taken over by Hamas. And they use it for, to, uh, uh, for air pressure in the tunnels, the tunnels in which the militants are hiding. Uh, apart from that, it also uses it for rockets and uh, for vehicles used by uh, Hamas. So it is very clear that no fuel should be going in. Now, Egypt is not very happy about the situation when Israel said that it wants to check every truck that goes into uh, Gaza. But of course, some aid has been going in that has been allowed. And the, uh, the mediation and the negotiation has been done by Qatar and uh, Egypt uh, as far as aid is concerned and also the foreign nationals who are now crossing into Egypt.